So, I have a story for all of you. Um, the oranges of Sevilla in Spain are known across the world, but I will tell you now the story of how they got there. This story begins in a far off city of Damascus, a city full of beautiful tiled mosques. The air um, hot in the daytime, it cools in the evening to a beautiful purple that smells of orange blossoms. And there in Damascus was the seat of a mighty empire, the Umayyads. The Umayyads had reigned for very long, very long. Um, and all was well until another family thought that they should take the throne, the Abbasids. And one night, there was a great plot. There was a great feast in the Umayyad palace, everybody eating, tables creaking under the weight of all of the amazing dishes. The aroma made its way out into the streets, foretelling what was to come. As they were feasting, an assassin entered, unnoticed by all. And in a mighty stroke, he killed every man and every child, except for one, the last of the Umayyads. And in this moment, he t with his mother, they fled. They fled from the city across the lands, across the sea, and across the north of Africa, making their way all the way to Spain, a strange land, but a safe land. And there, the empire that had once existed there was crumbling, and there they decided that we will establish a new Umayyad reign. We will live here, and all will be well once again. And this was true, and they were quite successful. They built beautiful tiled mosques with beautiful courtyards, fountains, filled the streets with sounds of running water. The sun was hot in the day, and then it would cool into a lovely purple evening. But there was one thing missing that this last of the Umayyads dearly missed. He said, the streets here, they do not smell of the orange blossoms that I love so well. And for many years, he tried to forget about his home in Damascus, but he never did. The orange blossoms, uh, he always missed them. And then, one year, on a whim, he wasn't even sure this would work. He wrote a letter to his dearest sister, hoping that she may have survived the, the coming of the Abbasids, that maybe by some miracle, she would be able to help him. He wrote, and he said, my dear sister, I have lived all these long years far away from my homeland. I cannot return, for I fear death. But my heart, it never stops aching, for I so miss the smell of the orange blossoms in the summer nights. Is there any way that you could send me even just a seed so that I might be able to have this piece of home that I can no longer have? And he sent this away with his finest messenger, and he did not hear back. And he did not hear back. And he did not hear back. Until one day, against all odds, his sister had lived, and his sister had sent back a letter. The words forgotten to the sands of time, but with this letter she had <coughs> sent orange seeds. And he took these orange seeds and he planted them in the streets and the courtyards and the gardens of beautiful, beautiful Spain. And thus, the orange made its way to Spain and the air, it smelled once more of its blossoms. Woo!